let's talk about this Omid Scobie book, Sam. <laughs> <sighs> do we have to? Yeah, we have to. Yeah. Yeah. No, we do. So <laughs> yesterday it was revealed that a Dutch version of the book names the people who are accused of saying racist things. And it's all kind of blown up into a bit of a mess. There was a presenter on British TV named who these accused are. What what do you make of it? I mean, what, where do we go with this story now? It, it sounds like... Um well, cock up rather than conspiracy, I would yeah. say. But the, the, the Dutch publisher is a small operation. Yeah. It apparently has been given a draft. Hasn't taken out the names. Uh, it seems like everybody else in the world who's published it was given legal advice to withdraw these names. The Dutch publisher didn't seem to get the memo. He's gone ahead and published it and is now having to pulp all these books. Mm. But obviously, I mean, the British press have taken the view that it's not right to name the people involved because they've not been given the right to yeah. um, have their say about this. They've not been given their side of the story. Um, it, it then smears them forever, doesn't it, once those yeah. names are out there? But, I mean, sadly, those names are out there. They yeah. are available on the internet. They were out there within five minutes on social yeah. media. And, and you can't take that back. It's, it's it, The genie's out in the bottle. I, can, I don't buy the idea it was a, a cock-up in Holland. I no, think do it I. was a cynical yes. PR yeah. stunt yeah. by Omid Scobie. Scobie. It's the smallest, mm. probably, circulation mm. run. Holland, tiny country. Uh, this isn't happening in America. Scobie has said he didn't put it in any version of the book. Well, how did he get and it? That, so, so my question is, how on earth is he suggesting the publishers put it in there? Oh. Is he suggesting a translator put it in there? Because all of which is abject nonsense. Of course they didn't. And um, I'm pretty sure he wanted them out, and I'm pretty sure Meghan and Harry wanted them yeah, out yeah. as well. You know, the thing about this book is, it's become, you know, there's nothing new in this book. There's nothing revelatory. There's nothing that we didn't already know. All it is, mm. it's a spite tome. It's something that because Meghan and Harry are a laughing stock in the States currently because of their constant whinging and moaning, they can't write the book quite right. Um, and so there's another book being written um, that, that airs all their same old moans again. And it is interesting that the book is full of everything. Their pet peeves, I think, Jan Moyer refers to it mm. in the mail yeah. today, yeah. As, as Harry and Meghan's pet peeves. It's interesting. It's all the same things regurgitated. And yet this, this bloke is a horrible little lick spittle peacock of a man who he, he wonders why he's not taken seriously he says he's struggling to be taken seriously well because nobody does take him seriously because because he's a mouthpiece for, for two people who hate the royal family yeah mm. and it, but you know what i think you know sam mentioned that the royal family haven't had their say this is i think their mistake now i think they should come out and denounce this book because if they don't it looks like they're they're not disagreeing with what's in it and and, the, and may, you know, whereas I can see why they didn't come out against Harry, because Charles might not have wanted to. They've got no, you know, they should go after Scobie legally and destroy him. Because because a lot of this is tosh. It's it's just nonsense. I'd love to know who his Who's so-called his royal sources yeah. are, because no one in the royal family is going to talk to him. If he says he's seen the letter that Meghan wrote to, to Charles um, saying about this, com this so-called racist conversation, how has he seen that? Did, did, so, did one of the Windsors show it to him? Yeah. Absolutely <laughs> Like but, some Dickensian but, scene. But, but, Robin Watson. but they are an old family, aren't they? If you were, I remember going back in the 90s, the Queen wrote to Charles and Diana yeah. and suggested yeah. they sorted their marriage out. Yes, yeah, saying, yeah. come and have a chat yeah, to, yeah. to Mummy, yeah. and, but 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 uh, yeah. I think Carol's got a point.